Hi, we are back for the next Clay at Home video. Uh, today it's um, it's a really nice one, all about play and um, exploration, material exploration, to think about how you can create some really fun learning environments um, and some fun learning activities as well, because we find that everyone learns better when they're having fun and enjoying themselves. Um, so I'm going to talk you through um, a couple of the engagement activities that we had at our festivals, um, the clay pit and the clay quarter, and then we've got some suggestions for some activities that you guys can do at home. So this is the clay pit, you can see lots of material there, we had lots of different terracotta clay that we encourage people to just play with. Um, so you can see here there was lots of mess being made, um, but people were using it um, in different ways, so they were using the different types of clay together to create um, and make things in ways that you wouldn't traditionally think of using um, the clay. Um, and in the clay quarter we tried to take that a bit further so really thinking about the material of clay and what you can do with it so sound became a really important aspect so what does clay sound like what do the different types of clay sound like how can you make sound with clay um, also things like how can you build with clay what's the tallest thing you could create with the different types of clay and mark making so drawing was really um, interesting to play around with as well so how can you draw with clay what different things can you use so you can see here in this quick demo, um, well, I've got some different types of clay here and just a piece of paper and I'm trialling out to see um, what different marks you can make um, with the different types of clay. So I've got some dry clay, some um, wet clay and then some slip as well. And you can see straight away that uh, the dry clay works a bit like a crayon, um, the wet clay leaves a very different mark and then the slip is going to kind of be a bit more like painting really. Um, again, I'm just using my fingers here, but you could, could try it out with a brush or with different kind of tools as well. So there we go, really fun drawing activity for you there. Uh, again, we use clay, but this could go for any um, material that you have around the house, get out in the garden, see what you can use to draw out uh, there. Again, it doesn't have to be on paper if it's out in the garden, you could draw um, on your patio slabs or um, whatever, whatever you've got to hand. Um, we have two documents that we're sharing with you today. The first one is the pit pack, which talks a bit more um, in detail about the clay pit, the theory behind it, and how you can go around recreating that space um, on your own, in your own environments. The second document that I have to share with you is a uh, worksheet that gives you a few more um, different creative um, ideas in terms of activities that you can do at home um, with clay, without clay, uh, but it's all around um, exploring materials, seeing what you can do, pushing the limits um, and learning about things through play and through games. Um, there are no rules. Um, I think this week it's all around just having fun and seeing what learning can come um, from that process. So. Go out, have some fun, and I will see you next week for the next Clay at Home video.